to configure wildfire forwarding on the firewall, browse to device, setup, and wildfire. Then click the general settings gear icon. This opens up the general settings window where you can configure your wildfire settings. By default, the wildfire public cloud setting is set to the domain name wildfire.paloaltonetworks.com. Other URL values are also available for specific geographies to satisfy either performance requirements or legal requirements regarding data locality. For example, those in Europe can use the URL value eu.wildfire.paloaltonetworks.com. Those in Japan can use the value wildfire.paloaltonetworks.jp. You can refer to the wildfire documentation for the latest list of available wildfire URLs. If you have configured a wildfire private cloud appliance, enter either its IP address or domain name in the wildfire private cloud text box. You can also configure the file size limits for the files that are submitted from the firewall to the wildfire cloud or the wildfire appliance. The default size limits can vary by PanOS version and firewall model. Files larger than the specified size will not be sent to wildfire. Click any number to modify it. We'll click the number 16 associated with PE files. And we'll type in the number 100. You won't know if this file is too large until you attempt to click the OK button, at which point you will get an error message telling you that the value of 100 is too large. You can either experiment with this number, or you can refer to the wildfire documentation to see what the actual maximum number really is. If you want the wildfire submissions log to contain entries for files determined to be benign or grayware, then you must select the Report Benign Files checkbox or the Report Grayware's File checkbox. If these checkboxes are selected, then these types of files will be reported in the Wildfire Submissions log, along with phishing and malware verdicts. As always, when you're done, click OK to save your changes. Be aware that decrypted wildfire content is not forwarded to wildfire by default. To enable the firewall to forward decrypted content to wildfire, browse to Device, Setup, and then the Content ID tab. On the Content ID tab, click the Content ID Settings gear icon. Then, to allow the forwarding of decrypted content to Wildfire, click the Allow Forwarding of Decrypted Content checkbox. Again, click OK to save your changes, and then commit your configuration.